guys are ready, after their photo op, I want to walk them back here to do a presentation. After the photo op, yeah, they will walk back here to do the briefing. So I'm hoping you have your mic. Because we don't have any. Well, this is Bernard Dong, of course, just giving you live commentary of what is transpiring right now, the JKIA, where in just a few moments ago, a plane has landed uh, carrying uh, the payload, and that is over 350,000 plus vaccines, the AstraZeneca that was expected earlier. Uh, of course, you had the update from my colleague, Doka Swangira, who stated that it was expected much, much earlier, but you can see there, it's arrived uh, at about a few minutes or so ago. It was expected to arrive much, much earlier at about 9.30, but it's landed officially. And as you can see there on your screens, that is about 358,700 doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine that is at the JKIA in Nairobi. Well, these vaccines were donated by the government of Denmark and transported by UNICEF. The flight uh, is being met at the airport uh, by several government officials, led, of course, by senior Ministry of Health uh, officials, led by Dr. Masi Mwangangi, the Danish ambassador to Kenya, Ole Tonke, the UNICEF representative to Kenya, Manise Zaman, and WHO representative to Kenya, Dr. Rudy Eggers. Of course, uh, this comes at a very critical time of when the issue of vaccination has been the big talking point in terms of shoring up the numbers of vaccination. You can see there on your screens, this is the live images from the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport where the consignment that has been highly anticipated of about 358,000 plus doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine has just arrived. It has landed in Nairobi.
Yeah.